So, you finally created your badass 3D character, and you want to animate them, but you don't know how. Not a problem. This tutorial will get you started on everything you need to know in order to create your skeleton rig. Alright, let's do this. Press Ctrl, Numpad 3, and go to a perfect side view. Go to Object Mode, press Shift A, click Armature. All you need to know is an armature is a bunch of bones. Congratulations, you've just created the core bone for your rig. Now go to edit mode and move it roughly where the base of the spine is. You can move bones in one of two ways. You can move the base or tail separately, or you can click on the middle of the bone and move the whole thing. Now click on the end of the bone and press Shift E. This lets you extrude the bone. Drag the second bone so that it travels from the top of the pelvis and to the bottom of the rib cage. Left click to finish placing it. Shift E again and create the bone that's going to move the rib cage. Quick tip, at any point after Shift E, you can hold middle click and make the bone travel at perfect 90 degree angles. Anyway, Shift E again, but this time unparent the bone so that you can move it separately. You can do this by clicking on the bone icon and under relations, click the X under parent. Move this bone where the neck is, and then Shift E again to make a final bone for the head. Alright, so we have all of our spine bones. This is a good time to go back and name them. So click on the bones and give them names by clicking on each bone and under the bone icon, type the name here. I'm going to name my bones Pelvis, Spine 1, Spine 2, Neck, and Head. And before we forget, the neck is not attached to the skeleton yet because we deleted its parent. We did that so that we could place it where we want without creating unnecessary bones, but we need to parent it to the rest of the body. So click on the neck, select the bone icon under Relations, Parent, select the name of the bone that controls your rib cage. In my case, it's Spine 2. Also, this is probably a good time to make it easier to see the bones by clicking the In Front checkbox. You can find it under Armature and Viewport Display. It was previously known as X-Ray. But once you check that, it will be easier to see your bones. Now that everything is in the right place, let's go ahead and make our leg bones. Press Control Number Pad 1 in order to see your model from the perfect front view. Click on any bone you want, Shift E, and hold middle click to make it straight down. Unparent it the same way we did for the neck. Now click on the bone and place it where the hip should be. Remember, only do one side of the body at a time. Once you got it in the right spot, Shift E for the shin, Shift E for the foot, and Shift E a final time for the toe. Great! Don't forget that the hip was unparented, so go ahead and parent it to the pelvis. Click on the hip, bone icon, relations, pelvis. Awesome. Now, don't forget to name all of your leg bones, but this time, make sure that at the end of each name you put a dot L. This tells Blender that the bones are for the left side of the body, so hip.l, shin.l, foot.l, and toe.l. Alright, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our arms. Click on any bone, shift E, unparent it, and move it where the collarbone should be. Shift E for the bicep, Shift E again for the forearm, and Shift E a final time for the hand. Now if your character does not have fingers, then you are really lucky because these are a bane. But mine does, so I'll show you how to do those real quick. From the hand bone, Shift E, and unparent the bone like we did before. Now move it to where one of the fingers starts. Now press Shift D to duplicate the bone, and drag these new bones where the other four fingers start. Now that we've got each finger started, you can Shift E like normal to complete the hand skeleton from each finger's base. Awesome! Look at that! We're almost done! And now, once again, we name all of our bones. This is very important. If you have fingers, again, this kind of sucks, but personally, the way I do it is collar.l, bicep.l, forearm.l, hand.l, pinky1.l, pinky2.l, pinky3.l, ring1.l, ring2.l, ring3.l, middle1.l, middle2.l, middle3.l, pointer1.l, pointer2.l, pointer3.l, thumb1.l, thumb2.l, and thumb3.l. Alright, we're almost there. There's just one more thing that we have to fix. Remember, the fingers are not parented to the hand yet, so we can fix this again by going to each finger, going into relation, and select the hand bone as the parent. Okay, check it out! We have our entire left side of the body. Good job out there! You're doing good. This was the hardest part, so you can relax a bit. If you join me next video, I will be showing you how to mirror the skeleton and get our full body rig complete. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.